Hi, it's Ronnie, and welcome to Christie's Beautiful Life 30 Days of Sketches, round seven. And if you'd like to check out the layouts on Instagram, it's hashtag 30DSCBL7. And this is a sketch we're using today, and it has circles, nine of them actually, because that one area I don't have them. But I decided to have hearts instead. And I'm going to use the primitive Sizzix um, heart dies. One Ella Connor gave to me, and the other one I already had, so I've got like five sizes. And I'm going to use this daisy die that Ella gave to me. Oh, it's so cute. I've been wanting it for a while, so I was tickled to get it. But I'm not going to make them very three-dimensional on this layout. I decided that I was going to have enough on there that I didn't need to, because I'm going to have a few more hearts than nine. I'm going to scrap that picture of my nephew and his wife. And the one in the sketch has it uh, portrait style, but I'm going to have landscape style. So that's going to make a little bit of a difference. And I'm going to move my title down because I'm going to add more hearts. I don't have room for it up there <laughs> because you all know I like more. I am inking this with uh, garden clover i think it's called it's close to my heart ink and it's an older one as you can tell by the ink pad i haven't bought any in a long time but they still have ink in them and they still work so i still use them i'm inking the tip edges of the flowers the daisy and a little in the center i'm also punching out some of my favorite leaf punches yeah this is a stampin up punch and yeah you can still get it it's not older. I have a lot of older stuff that I'm making sure I use because, you know, I bought it with the plan of when I retired. I'd have plenty of stuff to work with. And, yeah, it's 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 still given. This uh, paper even is an older item. It's Anna Griffin, and it's one-sided, and it is older. But it is really pretty. I was thinking I wanted green. I was looking at the photo and the green background, and I thought, oh, I need some green. And I thought I'd work that craft in, but I never do. It's not going to go on the layout. I'm going to end up with a different title. Whereas the inspiration sketch has circles singly placed across the page, I'm uh, layering my hearts and kind of staggering them instead of putting them straight across. I'm staggering them a little bit, and I'm going to put a few on foam tape, too. But, yeah, I thought I'd like the little clusters there. They have flowers in the sketch, and I'm going to add flowers to each one of my little clusters. And I am going to have five clusters, an odd number, you know, because odd numbers just seem to look so much better. And, uh, yeah, I'm... I am actually going to add a cross stitch to each one too, just to give it a little bit of different texture. Because like I said, I'm not going to add the dimension by layering the flowers and making them more dimensional. I'm going to, it's going to kind of sort of look flat except for the heart that is on foam tape. Well, a couple of the clusters aren't even going to have that. But I thought I'd do a monochromatic layout. And they're hard for me to do. I remember in school, you know, my teacher says, you know, monochromatics, one color, and shades and tints thereof. So he would let us have one color that we picked out, plus black and white paint, and do our monochromatic. Well, I'd always want another color. So it was hard for me to stick with it, but I almost make it all the way to the end, and then I'm going to add another color. But you all know green is my favorite color. So I still love this layout, even though it is monochromatic and I had to add that other color. Yeah, since it's a color that will go with the green, it's not, well, everything goes with green. Mother Nature knew that. You look outside and there's loads of greens and all kinds of other colors. But yeah, I'm going to add another color that I think works with green because i have seen it with a green tint before yeah i think it might have been turning 
when I seen it with the green tin. <laughs> but yeah, so you can kind of guess maybe what color I'm going to add. My background paper has green on green tones and it's flowers and greenery in it. And then the hearts, it's like a wood grain. Yeah, wood grain made of green, lights and dark shades of green and has the little, um, well, the grooves and stuff just like wood grain. And then the flowers, it's more like a linen print kind of with green, yeah. And so, yeah, everything's green. But because the wood grain looks textured and the linen looks textured, it looks like I've got more textures on the page than I would have otherwise. And so, yeah, I thought I could get away with out making the flowers as dimensional and the green thread that I added it was like just another shade of the same color of green so yeah I was pretty tickled that I found a thread that matched I pulled up three and laid them on there and it went the best and I started to put the photo down and I realized that I hadn't put my stitches down and it'd be easier to stitch if I didn't have the photo there so I put my stitches down and then I seen that the upper left hand corner only had one little cluster of for a flower. So I had to add one more just so I'd have two like everything else. But gosh, I love those primitive hearts. I think I think they're my favorite hearts. I had that punch forever. And then I ran across that um primitive heart that uh, was the well it was at Hobby Lobby and they had it on the clearance thing for well I think it was like $19.99 marked down to three or four dollars so I was tickled to get that and then Ella sent me the other so I just put hearts on here to my heart's content <laughs> yeah that was a pun it, 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 but it was a bad one I know but it was still a pun after I decided that I wasn't going to be able to work the craft in there and use the letters because I was going to work some craft up there in the heart somehow. I picked the Kaiser Craft Dream Magic Believe die and I am doing three layers on it and layering on top of it so it'll look more dimensional. But yeah, I decided I better just use the card stock since I was going monochromatic after all and layer the pieces together when i laid my title down there i decided i'd get me a few banners to put underneath it but <laughs> i'm only going to put one after i got started i thought well i've all i don't have any more of the wood grain looking paper left i've used it all or i can't find it it might have fell down behind something but uh, i didn't get up and go look i just went ahead and stayed in my chair and went with one banner instead. It's so much easier to go ahead and do the layout if you don't have to get up and down. At least it is in my case. I just stick with it better. It could be laziness instead of being so interested in doing my layout, I don't know. But I saved the last cluster because I wanted to make sure where I wanted it. I want, you know, I wanted to work it in with my title. So it's going on last and I will have to add one more stitch just to get it right. It's not going to have three hearts though. It's only going to have two. But uh, yeah, I'm going to work my title in onto the banner, work a couple of more flowers in, and the rest of my little heart cluster. So while I'm doing that, I want to remind you that Christy's link is down there below to her Facebook group that is 30 days of sketches and you could use the same sketch and post your layout in there in the folder for that sketch so everybody could see it and also there's Christina's link to her redefine creative store shop on Facebook and she will do a live every day with the same sketch and of course then there are oodles more links down there below of other people doing the 30 days of sketches with Christy. Some are doing it every day, some not. And today 
like today's day 27 wasn't it and so yeah almost done with this round of 30 days of sketches but there's another one coming up so you got we all have something to look forward to i get so many more layouts done when i do this but i have a tendency to get behind but here's where i went rogue and got off the uh, monochromatic yeah i had to have me some heidi swap gold but it does look like it has a little bit of a green tint look at that see can you see the green tint just a little bit it was just what this layout needed that little bit of something else but yeah there's my title and my cluster and see the wood grain and then the flowers have that linen texture so yeah it makes the page look more textured even though it is not but yeah monochromatic i haven't done one in a while and i think they're gorgeous it's just that i want a little more color usually but if you leave a comment down there below i'll get back with you and if you like the video and hit a thumbs up i'd appreciate it and if you are not subscribed to my channel i'd love to have you subscribe and those of you already are thank you so much but yeah see i had to make sure i kept the hearts in line so the uh stuff would go in the same direction well at least i tried i noticed i fell down on the job on that one heart it must have been the last one i made with a scrap but thank you all so much for watching and hope you all have a happy scrappy weekend take care and stay safe bye